And I think in addition to the exercise, there's, there's a few other things that would potentially, um, I guess, provoke an angina attack or, or symptoms of angina. I think from recollection, it's, it's the four E's I got taught. So it's the exercise, environment, so that would be cold weather, mm -hmm. um, emotion, so getting angry. Well, actually getting angry or just is it stress in general? Stress, yeah. Stre stress, anger, anything that increases mm. your heart rate. It's all okay. about, it's all just pure mechanics, really. It's just blood supply down a pipe. And yeah. if you don't get enough, what's yeah. your fourth E? Eating. Eating. Yeah. So when you eat the... the so no pizzas. No pizzas. Um, I think <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah. Yet. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just to do with it, where the blood goes. Obviously, when you're eating, it's, it's all going to go into your yeah, stomach. If you, if, you are, if you divert all the blood to your stomach, which you clearly do when you... Uh, eat a big pizza yeah. then there's less to go to the heart yeah one That's of the, the qu one of the questions that we've got for you later is is when should people seek help and i guess it would might maybe make sense to do this along the way so we've just kind of talked about a, a, a really i guess is it a common symptom of coronary heart disease, heart disease? yeah in males yeah Males are more classic than females. It's, it, and that's not me being sexist. That is genuine fact that males present in a very typically obvious way. Heavy feeling in the chest. You know, they give a classic story. I walked up a hill. I can't walk as far up the hill now that I did six months ago. Or, you know, I'm taking the bins out to the end of the drive and I'm, having, I'm getting this heavy feeling in my chest. And I have to stop for two minutes until it settles and then I can do the same journey back again. And then I get the heavy feeling mm -hmm. again. That's, that's a classic angina attack for a male, okay? Uh, females present very differently to that. They might get jaw ache or toothache mm -hmm. or a funny pain on their right shoulder. Mm -hmm. it, it's all very different. Okay. Uh, is there any particular reason for that or is it just just well i would say women are awkward but you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't think we really understand it but it is one of the reasons why uh, outcomes for heart attacks in females is so much worse than it is for males in this country is because they tend to present late because their symptoms aren't classic a man knows when he's having a heart attack because he gets a horrible crushing feeling in his chest and he feels like crap you know, you, you feel unwell if this is happening the, to you. the thing is like you said if, if a woman thinks she's having jaw ache it's like, it's a completely, di you wouldn't think you're having a heart yeah. attack if you're getting a fucking jaw ache, would yeah. you, you know? Am I right in thinking if you've got diabetes, then the, you may not have the pain symptom? Certain, certain groups of people with diabetes don't get the pain so much because the, the, they, they can get a bit of nerve damage yeah. as well. The autonomic system becomes a little bit desensitized is the best way to think about it. So they can get silent heart attacks. But lots of people get those. You know, some people don't get chest pain or chest tightness. They just get short of breath when they're walking up a hill. You know, I saw a patient just earlier on today whose only symptom of their coronary disease was getting more short of puff walking up the hill now than they were six months ago. And it's only because they do the same walk day in, day out that they knew about the symptom. Yeah, okay. So well, so definitely a watch out, I think, if, if, if maybe people are experiencing that. For if, sure. you, if you look back and you say, I'm really not as fit as I was six months ago, but nothing else has changed, I would say that's a sign that you probably ought to be coming to is see it, Is it within it. certain ages you think you to check out or all ages? Like well, we'd used to say it's, <laughs> it's, it, it's in just the elderly, you know, you'd say more than the age of 65 or 70, then clearly you're more likely to get these diseases because, the, you know, you build plaque up over time, don't you? But we are seeing more and more young people. You know, I see people with heart attacks who are younger than me. You know, we had 30-year-olds in with heart attacks. Yeah. So, you know, genetics is a big player. Drug use is a big player. What, recreational or yeah. steroid abuse? Yeah, both. Both, yeah? Both, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine, like, mm. people with a just, yeah, rampant, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and is, I know there's, you've got stable and unstable in China. Um, is one worse than the other? Yeah, typically unstable angina implies that you're getting some pain at rest. If you're getting pain at rest, that tells you that there's an artery that's critically narrowed that is occasionally tending to almost block off. Is that when they put like stents in? Yeah, you're getting very close to having a heart attack.